The TSR4 driver is the lowest spinning option in the TSR family, and today we're gonna do some experimenting with it. We're gonna play around with these weights in the back and in the front of the club head. Cameron will help me out as the fitter here, and I'm gonna do some shots, and we'll see what TrackMan tells us. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video, and then drop a comment and tell us what you think of the TSR4 driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined today by Cameron Fitzer, a master club fitter here at the Minnetonka store. And uh, Cameron, we're talking about the Titleist TSR4 driver today. Yeah. Low spinning head, uh, 430cc, so more compact. But unique with this one is there is some adjustability there. Not right. only obviously with the Surefit hosel as every Titleist metal nowadays has, right. but these weights here, they've got one kind of forward in the club head, yep. and you've also got one in the back. Yep. So. They have some options there. Tell me what we're going to do today with these weights. Right. So right now we've just got it kind of set in our traditional setting, how you would uh, essentially buy one off the rack. Yeah. You've got your heavier weight, 11 gram weight up front right now. Um, again, bringing center of gravity forward, yep. bringing flight down, bringing spin down, helping players get higher ball speeds for your more consistent striker of the golf ball. Yeah. Right now we've got our nine gram weight in the back and then obviously like we talked about adjustability, being able to move heavy towards the back, lighter weight towards the front, kind of gives uh, what Titleist would call the, like a TSR three and a half, yeah. where we've got forgiveness of like a TSR three, but you've also got your low spin properties, smaller shape that you get with the floor. Right, right. and so I think the, the unique thing about this is that, it, I mean, these are kind of incremental gram differences in right. the weights. So yeah. probably for the player that's really trying to fine tune their game. Definitely. Uh, I, like we mentioned before, this driver does kind of fit a really, maybe a high speed player or someone that does hit the center Definitely. of the face quite often. So yeah. uh, the differences today, we'll see what kind of differences we see. There might not be massive, right. but um, I think the tinkerer out there is definitely gonna be curious about these weights. Yeah, I, I think there's gonna be a lot of guys who are interested in at least playing around with it and seeing what the options are. Again, adjustability is great in the sense that it gives mm -hmm. players the opportunity to try stuff and just see if that fine tuning is something that offers performance benefits right. for the player. Right, so today I will hit 10 shots with the, I guess, heavier weight up front and then 10 shots with the heavier weight in the back. We'll get some numbers on track, man. We'll see if there's what kind of differences you should expect for maybe the golfers interested in something like this. And then Cameron will help us interpret that data Love and it. Um, uh, see what else the TSR4 can offer besides the stock setting. So uh, Cameron, should let's, we do this? Let's do this thing. Good swing. Don't turn over. Okay, I think that's probably fine. Right? I think that's reasonable. All right, so Cameron, um, you have five good ones with each sort of setting. Right. I, I think we maybe noticed some like subtle differences, right. but talk through this data for me here. Yeah, as you said, n nothing crazy. We kind of did see, I guess, what we would expect to see from moving those weights around. Um, very similar in terms of your delivery, so kind of props to you in terms of being our robot in terms <laughs> of testing today. Um, Granted, heavier weight up front, kind of your stock setting. We saw a low spin, we saw a low launch, we yeah. saw a lot of distance, and we saw kind of shallower landing angles, something you'd expect yeah. from, again, a golf club center of gravity forward, kind mm. of made to be that low spin bomber. Yeah. So really just kind of comparing head to head, slightly more spin, uh, just about 100 RPMs more there. In terms of launch angle, we saw a degree more launch, a couple degrees in terms of our landing angle, as well as slightly higher peak height. So really yeah. that heavier weight towards the back, created higher MOI, yeah. brought that launch angle up, brought that spin rate up, right. or kind of your low spin bomber. A lot of guys are gonna like that heavyweight forward, but it's yeah. kind of nice having the ability to, to right. just add a little bit of forgiveness into that smaller profile head as well too. Right, and one thing I noticed too is actually, I swung like a, a mile to a mile and a half slower with right. just the weight back, so that even with that slower speed, I still generated a little bit more spin and height. And again, Definitely. not big differences so right. far, but Something to note as I... Again, this is just here. more so fine tuning. Not necessarily yeah. a case where we'd expect it to just be wildly different right. in these settings, yeah. just because we're using the same golf club. Again, it's just more of a tool for fitters like myself yeah. or, or players out there wanting to yeah. fine tune and maybe find, find something different where it right. offers that performance benefit. 
Right. Well, all right, let's go five more with each setting here, see if we can dial these in a little bit more and yeah. then we'll make some conclusions. I like it. Yeah, I could swing. Ooh. Look at all that curve. <laughs> wow. All zero feet of it. That one might not work. I hit it good, but the left. Oh, it's perfect. Never mind. Never mind. I think that's about perfect. It's roasted. Really nice. Oh. Ooh. So Cameron, we have 10 shots now um, with each setting, so 20 total up there. Um, I think you know, most of the differences kind of stayed intact there after five yep. more with each setting. But yep. so we've got the total numbers up here. Walk me through really what kind of jumps out at you. We kind of talked already about some of the trends that were starting right. to, to happen, but uh, walk me through what jumps out at you here. Right, so kind of like we talked about with our initial five shots, Definitely saw lower spin with that heavier weight being up front. Mm -hmm. um, kind of some, some trends that we started to see solidify once we had some more shots. Uh, kind of intriguing actually, in terms of like our carry and total distances, uh, we saw mm. more carry with our heavier yeah. weight being back, kind of that higher ball flight, higher spin option. Ball more than likely just staying in the air a little bit longer. Yeah. That said, with our steeper landing angle and more spin, it's not necessarily rolling out as far. Right. So granted we had longer carry, but not necessarily that longer total just based on our, our stopping power with yeah. that one compared to our just low spin bomber with that heavy weight up yep. front. Yeah, I think the, you know, the, the, the cool thing about this club, it's clearly a low spin club, right? We right. see how it can knock down spin. Definitely. Um, so I, 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 I am curious too, like how many players come in for fittings that they might be really high spin mm -hmm. players that hit the ball solidly enough right. to play a TSR four, because there is some forgiveness in this driver. Definitely. I mean, it's not like a TSR two, yeah. But it does, it is still somewhat stable on those miss hits. And I had a few up there actually to, uh, during this testing that um, they turned out okay when right. I missed the club face in the center. So um, that's another element, another player, if you will, that I think can maybe fit into this club is someone that just, they really come in really steep or something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. They, you know, spin their driver 3,000 plus and they need to drop that down. Could be an option, again, Absolutely. depending on the forgiveness that they need. Right. And kind of looking through kind of just the weight adjustability within this one head as well too. Kind of the other thing we touched on a little bit, definitely saw higher ball flight with, yeah. with our heavy weight being back. But the other thing that we kind of noticed a little bit was he definitely had a little bit less curvature on the golf ball with that heavier weight being back yeah. as well too. Mm -hmm. So our higher, higher MOI setting essentially definitely caused that resistance yeah. to twist and we didn't see as much sure. offline mm -hmm. in, in terms of direction on those golf shots. Right, right. And so I, I, it clearly, I mean, there's a big difference in height there definitely. Um, in the landing angle. So. Uh, and again, this, you know, the, the differences for, you know, another golfer out there might not be as extreme as those in terms of the height and the landing angle and things like that. But it looks like there's something there um, in adjusting those weights. And it's nice that, like you mentioned, the TSR three and a half mm -hmm. kind of option that golfers have if they go with this model. Right. Because um, I think we've, we've probably identified that 10%-ish, mm -hmm. maybe even less right. of golfers out there looking for a Titleist TSR driver will go into the four. Right. But they have that ability to go three and a half, get a little bit more of that that spin, that that steeper landing angle Definitely. and height from the that they might get in the three. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a nice option that you'll have in the fitting bay Agreed. going into 2023. I, I like the the idea. I like the options there for sure. I know there's gonna be quite a few guys that just come in and like that smaller head shape yeah. as well too. Mm -hmm. So having the ability to add more forgiveness in for the guy who doesn't necessarily need low spin. He just likes the smaller profile. I think right. it's going to be beneficial to us in the, right. in the bays as well. So Right. Well, golfers, you've seen the data. You've seen the information. Uh, the TSR4 driver, maybe not the most popular TSR model out there, but there are some really nice adjustability options. Aside from the Surefit Hosel, you also have the weight. Uh, that the heavyweight can go in the, in the front or in the back, and you have some different uh, launch and spin characteristics that you can play with. So if you're interested in the TSR driver, uh, maybe it is the four, you know what to do. Schedule your fitting at Second Swing. It could be either online with one of our online master fitters or in the store with someone like Cameron. We'll get you dialed in for a TSR driver for longer and straighter tee shots for your game. 
Cameron, thank you for joining and um, interpreting all the information for us. I think the golfers will like this one. Absolutely, it was awesome.